today is Friday the 22nd of October and I'm officially on October half term. I actually finished on Wednesday. Yesterday I did like a tiny little bit of work in the morning and then basically just relaxed. I finished you on Netflix, went to the gym, kind of just chilled. Today I'm having a work day and then next week I don't need to worry about anything so I'm just gonna get a few things out of the way. I need to go into school right now just to set up for the first week of term. So I wouldn't usually go into school during like small holidays. I only ever really go in during the summer and like just set up my class. But I was in such a rush this week because I had parents evening Monday and Tuesday. So I finished school at both like 7pm those days. And then Wednesday I had a baby shower. So I just didn't have time to set up next term. And I didn't want to start the term all like stressed and worried. So I wanted to come in today casually just sort a few things out and then it's going to be all perfectly set up for the new term so here are my supplies i've got my bag because i need to go to a shop afterwards to get some things and um, probably take you with me um this is my teacher's bag of very important things which is literally just like my glasses another bag and a bottle of water um and then this is my sounds right folder this is like everything i need to know about sounds right i was trained about two years ago now um i had to write some interventions for some children um based on our scheme so i did this at home so i can now return the big folder and get it out of my house um, and then i've got my laptop which is um the school laptop that we were given thought it'd be fun to show you a day in the life of a teacher in the October holidays. Um, this will be the only day I do work so I thought I would show you what I get up to and then also I've got some fun plans later as well. So this is how I left my classroom on the last day of term. Obviously it's been hoovered now and the tables have been clean so it's nice and tidy um, but basically I need to just get everything set up for the first day back. And actually thinking about it, um, when you saw it last I think I had all my units down here and it was really different, um, like this side of the room was really different. Now the children's drawers are along here, um, so my classroom is a bit more open and it does feel a lot bigger. Um, so I'm going to just sort it out and then I'll get back to you in a bit. My colleague has already been in and this is all the English for the first week back so I can get that set up. I've done some more printing as well for the continuous provision. I was saying I did some interventions with my sounds like folder and I'm just covering the name of the child but this is kind of what it looks like. Um, so this is like week six of doing it now um, and every day there's like a certain lesson and activity so I say which words to build, which symbols to find and everything I got from here. Comment down below if you do sounds right, I would be so interested to talk about it. This is my third year teaching sounds right now and I can't even imagine teaching phonics without it. Um, so if you're worried about starting a new scheme, feel free to ask me any questions. Um, of course, this isn't sponsored. That'd be great if it was. <laughs> um, I just really like it. That's my topic display. I had some stuff here that I've already taken down and I sent it home with the children. I'm just going to take this stuff off now and then put the new title up ready for next term. This is where I put all of my topic stuff, um, so I've just bagged this up and put it in like a plastic wallet and um, land before time and I'll put it in here to be used next year. This is my next topic so I'll be getting this stuff out soon. So I have a problem, this has been my maths area um, and I've had things on the table and it's been all grey and then this was my independent table. However, I thought I would show you my face. Um, so now we're doing two independent tables and teach table and a TA table um, so I need a whole nother table basically for group to work on as well as my maths and English table during my continuous provision. I noticed this is kind of confusing I think I'm going to do a whole video on how I set up my continuous provision um, so if you have any questions leave them down below and I'll also ask on Instagram um, but basically I need an extra table. <laughs> What I'm going to have to do is move this table back so that can be my like maths area and then maybe have this as the independent table, like separate it. Um, I don't know if it's going to be too small. Okay, check it out, I've done it. So I've put a table here, I swapped a big table with like the angle table from over here so it's a bit more space for an independent activity. And then we have a tiny little maths area um, that I'll put the activity on and there's some extra bits. Um, hopefully there's enough space. But I do also have this area where they can grab things and if I wanted to, 
I could like make some space for an activity here. It will be my nether independent table and then TA table, teacher table, obviously my role play area and this is the writing area. I quite like the arch table actually. And I've also just added some leaves to my reading corner. Um, because this was on my dinosaur display, obviously I don't need that on my dinosaur display anymore, so I thought this looked nice and kind of went well with the green. So if you didn't know already, you can laminate two at a time and it's all fine. Look what I just achieved everyone, I did two A3 laminating pouches. I didn't want to use another one, so what I did, I combined the two and it actually worked. Amazing. So I had some old books um, that weren't being used anymore, so I ripped out the page that had been done. Um, and then I've stuck a cover on top, and now these are going to be for my number formation interventions. So I'm going to have about five students, I think. I'll assess them at the beginning of the next term just to like choose the children who need it the most. And then, yeah, I thought this could be helpful. So this year I've got a very exciting project and it's the Christmas box appeal. I used to do this when I was younger and it was so exciting. So I'm making the school do it this year and I can't wait. Um, one child has already given in their box, all packed and ready to go. I'm about to go to the shop and get some more bits from mine and then I will show you that probably in another video. So I'm about to go but I thought I would just quickly show you what's up for next term. So now this is my new maths area. I'm going to put some blue paint here and basically the activity is um, like doing the number sentence but um, using fingerprints, like finger painting, um, to find out the total. So they may do three in a dark blue and then four in a light blue and then find out the total. Um, these are always just on my maths table so I just kept that there. This is like my fine motor skills. Um, basically making faces out of loose parts so they've got mirrors if they want to double check their facial features um, some string for hair random things here i may add more things next term who knows this is like the challenge board that i always put up just for instructions and here's some inspiration that time so i haven't actually put up the title yet but i can do that easily next term art area um this is activity just to draw a family portrait we will be reading this book which is the great big book of families something like that um so they can just have some paper i've got some multicultural crayons other selection of crayons and also on here there's more stuff that they could use it's a word map for inspiration and if they want to label it um my cute please sharpen and sharp pencils lots of sharpened ready to go and then again some mirrors as well i've also taken down the display so as i go i'm going to add the photos onto the wall. I haven't set up my writing area yet but that would be really quick so I can do that on first thing Monday morning when I'm here. In the construction area this is their challenge to build a house out of Lego to go with the theme of all under one roof which is our new topic and a big box of Lego. The date's done and I've also changed this ready. So I'm home now, I left about half four. We are about to go to this Halloween event. You know where like you go around mazes and people try and scare you? I'm doing it tonight. Um, that's my ride. Can I go? We're going in! <laughs>